The Raiders have been in the news this week after a draft pick said that he was told by Antonio Pierce he was a coin flip away from being drafted over Bowers. I don't know if that's true or not, but I kind of want to talk about the Raiders. Sammy, I got two stats for you. One real, one fake. You ready to roll? I am, and I, I kind of fuck with the fact that they, they told him that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, stat number one. The Raiders haven't won a playoff game since 2006. Stat I four. I think it's four. Okay, stat two. <laughs> stat two. The Raiders haven't won a Super Bowl since they were in Los Angeles. They lost to Tampa Bay when they were Oakland in 2001 or two, right? What year was yep. that? 2001 or two, whatever it was. They've, I feel like they've won not in LA. But I'm pretty sure they haven't won since 2004 a playoff game. Okay, or maybe that was it. I'm going to go. The first one is the. No. Yeah, first one's the real one. They haven't won a playoff game since 2006. Sammy, that's not true. They haven't won a playoff I should have gone with my gut. Two, since 2001, they actually haven't won a Super Bowl other than in Los Angeles. Wait, so I was right. At first, you said, which one did you say was the real one? I said the first one. No. I'm going to go with the first one. Like two, They haven't won a playoff game since whatever. Since 2006, yeah, that's a fake stat. Yeah, so I was right. Oh, oh okay, I thought you were saying which one was real. Okay, I thought you were saying which stat was real. Okay. No, I was. Oh, wait, so so, so time out. Yeah. You said, what was number two? The Raiders haven't won a Super Bowl since they were in L.A. Oh, so that was the real one. Oh, yeah, that's I was the wrong. real stat. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. They All right. in Oakland. It feels no. like they're bigger as the Oakland Raiders than they are as the Los Angeles Raiders. Yeah. And now that I actually like start thinking about this, right. And I'll get to the quiz here in a second, but I was like, you know what? They should have probably moved like the, um, the Raiders to Vegas and then had like a Vegas team, the chargers and like changed their name. Since like the Raiders won Super Bowls in in Los Angeles, you mean they should have moved the Chargers to Vegas? Yeah, and you could change their name, like make them like the Renegades or something like more Vegas, or just make them the Las Vegas Chargers. I or mean, the Las Vegas just, Chargers, yeah. And then you should have moved Oakland back to L.A. because that way it wouldn't be like the Chargers and Rams, where no one gives a fuck about the Chargers. And everyone can, right. It'd be actually pretty even rivalry. It would be like it would be like the Rams Jets, would, Giants. Yeah, and it'd probably be Raiders being a bigger fan base. Yeah, which then L.A. would be not happy about that either. But the Rams, uh, you know what? The Rams should have stayed in St. Louis. L.A. should be the Raiders and Vegas should be the Chargers. Yeah, simple there we solution. go. That's a very simple solution right there. <laughs> or All San right. Diego also. <laughs> that works as well. All right, Sammy, I got a little quiz for you on the Raiders. Can you name all six starting quarterbacks the Raiders have had since 2017? I think I actually might be able to do this since 2017. Derek Carr. That's correct. You said six, correct? Yep. Okay, Derek Carr. Marcus Mariota. Nope. He's, he started a game for the Raiders since 2017. No, he hasn't. I feel like Pretty he has, sorry. but like I, like, I don't know. According to Wikipedia, I did not see him on there. I got to fact check this. Uh, okay, well, we'll fact check that one. Jimmy Garoppolo. That's correct. Uh, Aiden O'Connell. What's his name? Aiden O'Connell did. Okay, that's three. Uh, who else has started for the Raiders? I need some. Uh, I might need help with this one. Aiden O'Connell. Derek Carr. Yep. Uh... What's his face? Yeah, and Marcus Mariota never started a game for the Raiders. He played a game when Derek Carr got injured, and then Carr came back the next week. That's that's weird. Okay. Um, who am I missing here? Mm. Gar- who have okay. you said? I Garoppolo, said- O'Connell, and Carr. Gar- yeah. No, Carr, Gar- O'Connell, Gar- Garoppolo. Uh... 
The Raiders. Raiders. I'm trying to think, who started? I'm going to give you a quick hint here. Two of them were New England Patriots. Brian Hoyer? Mm -hmm. Brian yeah. Hoyer is correct. I should, I should I knew that fucking shit. Well, and Garoppolo is a page, but another one yeah. you're saying. Jacoby Brissett? Did he play no. Nah. No. Patriots. There's two left, man. Two left. Heineke didn't play there. Um, okay, white or black? One's white, one's black. Damn it. Ah. Uh, that just that just made it even 50-50. And I think they both started just one game. <laughs> uh, I have to I have to concede. George, All right. I have to concede. Jared Stidham started a game for the Raiders. Fuck, I knew that. And EJ Manuel. No way he started a game for the one game for the Raiders. Wow. That that one you got me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So talk about the Raiders, Sam. I got a quick opinion for you here. I think the Raiders hired Antonio Pierce to make a culture change. Not necessarily win a Super Bowl. They might win a Super Bowl. I think it was the right hire. But they were ready to like you know put their staple as a tough-nosed Raiders football team. And that's why they hired Antonio Pierce full-time. Yeah. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, Antonio Pierce is – a culture builder. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We we're no one, including the Raiders, are a hundred and ten percent sure how good of an NFL head coach he yeah. is yet. Um, you know, they act, they were a little bit up and down in terms of his interim time, and he. I think they're just basing this off the fact that he had some of that college experience with Herm Edwards. Now that also didn't go great. They went through a lot of sanctions and different things, but. Who fucking cares? College football is all corrupt. And exactly. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be corrupt now. If, oh, two years later, it wouldn't be corrupt that they were, like, you know, illegally recruiting players, whatever. But they were actually building a pretty good culture at Arizona State. And Herm Edwards always talked about Antonio Pierce as one of those, those guys that was really helping that. And now with the Raiders, you saw guys like Max Crosby and Josh Jacobs and all the players coming out and talking about how they want – him to be the head coach. And they made this mistake last time, George, that interim head coach they had yes. before they, Rich after Gruden. Something. Rich, yeah. The, he's like the Hawaiian or Polynesian guy. Um, he was, after Gruden, they didn't listen to the players and they played really well and they went and hired McDaniels and it didn't work again. So I think this time they're simply going for, even if we can't, we're not 100% sure about the coaching, at least we're starting to build a culture that we, don't, we haven't had for a while. Exactly. No, no, totally agree. And I mean, that's why I said that. I think it's just a culture build. Sammy, what's your opinion on the Raiders? My opinion is that he's going to he's gonna succeed a lot. And I think there's one simple reason for that. I think he is a football guy. And I think he's going to be able to be the Dan Campbell for the Raiders. I Dan that. Campbell yeah, that's a great was point. passed around. Remember, like, oh, he can't be a good coach. He was in Miami and all these things. And I remember a lot of people used to talk about him, like Colin Coward would say, like, you never have a buff big guy as a coach like that. Yeah. Or, and, and he was that weird big guy that was also emotional at the same time. He was also mm -hmm. wired up on five red-eye Starbucks coffees while also crying when something happens, while also being like, the, the, the dad while also being an asshole. Like, it was a nice mix, and I think Antonio Pierce has that to him. And he might not be the number one coach in X and O's, Dan Campbell, for example, and neither might Antonio Pierce. But there's one thing that when you're a culture builder and you're that guy that players love, you'll also probably be able to bring coaches that really help you succeed as well. And I think it, I've heard Antonio Pierce say something about he wants to build the room of guys that are smarter than him. And sometimes that's what you need as a coach. Right? right, those and guys that fill the room. I don't think necessarily he's going to be doing all the X's and O's. I think he's going to be bringing the Steves and Joes. <laughs> I don't know, whatever they say. He's literally going to, you know, <laughs> what like are the Steves and Joes. I don't know, like people. Like he's going to bring in good people around him. Yeah, and those people are going to be, like you said, probably really good at X's and O's and smart for football. Like he's a very smart football guy. Obviously, played in the NFL. He's amazing, right? Like. But I think yeah. he's in there as the head, right, and the culture builder. And then if he brings in the right coordinators and assistant coaches around him, I think they could really succeed. And I feel like he is, like the definition, when I think about the Las Vegas Raiders head coach, I think of Antonio Pierce or John Gruden. <laughs> but, like, that's who I think of. <laughs> 
I mean, John Gruden. That was he would have been. He would have done well too. But if he was doing no well. more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no more. Uh, I I do think it's gonna work though. I think and I I think weirdly Vegas. I I don't. It's not a small city. It's not like small market. But it has that kind of feel maybe to me because it's like a new team that doesn't have much right. success yet. I feel like a lot of these smaller market teams that find their guy or these these franchises that need a reboot, let's just say that, like Detroit, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, a lot of teams also are good in these like hard-nosed systems, like yeah. the Kansas City, I don't know, it feels like blue-collar cities are starting to get good at sports again too. If you look at the NBA, it's like the Oklahoma City's really good and the this. there's a mix obviously, but we have a lot of like these teams that haven't been winning starting to win. If you find the right guy for the culture, it makes a humongous difference. So I, I I'm going to, that's they're the West coast, uh, Detroit lions. Absolutely. Sammy, I hope you have a great weekend. That's what I want to tell you here. It's Friday. Enjoy your weekend. There's no football to watch, but there's a lot of basketball to watch. And if you like basketball, you can check out our basketball channel in the link in the description, Hoops on Tap, and along with all our personal channels, our Seattle Sports channel. So make sure you like and subscribe to this one as well. My name is George on Tap, the big brother. As always with me is my little brother, Sammy on Tap. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. And Sammy, you know what we like to say? Thanks for stopping by, y'all. Peace.